When traffic is not a threat, it becomes proximate traffic. Proximate traffic shows as a solid white diamond. As the traffic continues to move away, it changes to other traffic and shows as a hollow white diamond. In this example, the traffic has leveled off at 2,000 feet above your airplane and is headed away from you. Descend, descend, descend. A no bearing alert is shown if TCAS cannot calculate the relative bearing of the traffic. Because the relative bearing is not known, the alert is shown in text format with no symbol to show its location. The red RA tells you that the alert is a resolution advisory. The traffic is at a distance of 4.9 nautical miles, 400 feet above your airplane, and is in a climb at more than 500 feet per minute. Because the no bearing alert is an RA, the voice alert is heard and the red vertical guidance symbol is shown on the attitude indicators. As before, disengage the autopilot and maneuver the airplane out of the red outlined area. Try to see the traffic. 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 TCAS can show many aircraft. It has identified a second possible threat as a no bearing TA. Relative bearing and heading are unknown. The traffic is 5.2 nautical miles away. 2100 feet below you and in a climb at more than 500 feet per minute. Because this is only a TA, continue the flight path for the RA. Clear of conflict. TCAS calculates that distance from the first traffic conflict is sufficient. The RA changes to a TA and the vertical guidance symbol is removed from the attitude indicators. Go back to the assigned altitude and engage the autopilot. TCAS now calculates that the first traffic alert is not a threat and cancels the TA. The second alert moves up one line on the display. When the second traffic alert is not a threat, it is also removed from the navigation displays. TCAS does not show no bearing alerts for proximate or other traffic. Now let's look at some other RA displays and guidance commands. Descend, crossing descend. TCAS gives an RA for traffic that is presently below your airplane and in a climb at more than 500 feet per minute. Notice that when traffic is below your airplane, the altitude data has a minus sign and is shown below the traffic symbol. RA guidance on the attitude indicator commands a descent. Descend crossing descend tells you that your airplane will descend through the altitude of the traffic. Disengage the autopilot and descend. Increase descent. Increase descent. Increase descent warns that TCAS has calculated that your rate of descent is not sufficient to keep safe traffic separation. Reduce descent. Reduce descent. TCAS calculates that the increased rate of descent is too much. Vertical guidance on the attitude indicator changes to a climb and the voice command becomes reduced descent. A recommended technique is to use a pitch attitude that puts the airplane symbol outside the red outlined area. Remember, always try to see the traffic. Clear of conflict. When traffic separation increases, TCAS cancels the RA. The traffic symbol changes to a TA. Go back to the assigned altitude and engage the autopilot. Climb, crossing climb. 
RA guidance on the attitude indicator commands a climb. Climb crossing climb tells you that your airplane will climb through the altitude of the traffic. Maneuver out of the red area. Descend, descend, descend. Here is a condition where the traffic is above you and in a climb and TCAS gives an RA command to descend. Again, disengage the autopilot and fly out of the red area. TCAS continues to monitor the traffic and calculates that the other aircraft has started a descent that will put it too near to your airplane. Climb, climb now. TCAS calculates the path of the traffic again and gives a different RA. Vertical guidance on the attitude indicator changes to a climb and climb, climb now commands an immediate climb for safe separation. Try to establish visual contact with the traffic. Clear of conflict. When clear of traffic, the RA is canceled and the traffic display changes to a TA. Go back to your assigned altitude and engage the autopilot. Let's look at some recommended practices for good TCAS operation. During pre-flight, set the captain's and the first officer's navigation range selectors as necessary. Push the traffic switches to show TCAS information. The airspace selectors may be set to above for takeoff and climbs. Use normal during cruise and below during descents. Set the ATC mode selector to standby until ready for takeoff. When ready for takeoff, select on or automatic and select the TARA position. T-A-R-A is usual for takeoff. During a takeoff in high traffic areas, TCAS can be operated in the TA only mode to prevent nuisance alerts. In this mode, the transponder is on and all RA traffic shows as TAs. Be sure the TARA mode is set for the climb. The pilot can set the optional TA only mode. For example, if you are near other traffic, parallel runway approaches or VFR approaches. TCAS has system inhibits which prevent RA commanded descents at low altitudes. All TCAS alerts are inhibited by GPWS.
and wind shear alerts. Increased descent RAs are inhibited below 1,450 feet radio altitude. Descent RAs are inhibited below 1,000 feet radio altitude if you are in a descent and below 1,200 feet radio altitude if you are in a climb. All RAs are inhibited below 900 feet radio altitude if you are in a descent and below 1,100 feet radio altitude if you are in a climb. All TCAS voice alerts are inhibited below 900 feet radio altitude if you are in a descent and below 1,100 feet radio altitude if you are in a climb. TCAS radio altitude inhibits are examined here. There are several enunciations for TCAS non-normal conditions. The enunciations tell you about the system condition only and a crew procedure is not necessary. When the traffic switch is pushed and the transponder mode selector is in a position other than TA only or TARA, the TCAS off enunciation is shown on the navigation display. When the traffic switch is pushed and the transponder mode selector is in a TCAS position, the TFC enunciation shows on the navigation display. Descend, descend, descend. The TCAS fail enunciation on a navigation display shows that TCAS cannot supply data on the attitude indicator or navigation display. Descend, descend, descend. TCAS voice orals continue to operate normally with this malfunction. In the event of an engine failure, The TA only mode should be set to prevent RA climb commands which can be more than one engine performance. TA only also tells other aircraft you have limits to your RA operations. The ATC TCAS control panel controls the transponder. The transponder increases the radar signal used in air traffic control. The ATC code selector and code indicator are easy to use. Use the altitude source selector to select an air data source for altitude data. The transponder selector selects a transponder. The transponder in use is shown in the code indicator window. In standby, no signal is transmitted. On transmits a signal. Auto transmits in flight and does not transmit on the ground. If the mode selector is in the altitude reporting off position, the transponder continues to operate, but altitude reporting is stopped. TCAS is also off. To operate the transponder without TCAS, set the mode selector to transponder. The transponder fail light illuminates during a test of the transponder. The transponder fail light illuminates constantly to show a defective transponder. You are preparing for takeoff. Set the transponder for flight and increase altitude coverage above the airplane.
Traffic. Traffic. Display the TCAS traffic on the first officer's navigation display. You are executing an ILS approach and the following situation occurs. Descend. 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 Place TCAS to the TA only mode. Traffic. Traffic. Select a range of 20.